catalase taste. For this, we take a drop of hydrogen peroxide on a slide. Then with help of a autoclaved stick, we pick up the colony growth and add to this drop. If bacteria has this catalase enzyme, it will start to show bubbles immediately within 10 seconds. So in 10 seconds, you see bubbles. Now let us see how this happens. Now we have taken hydrogen peroxide and then we have added the bacteria to it. Now bacteria, if they have this catalase enzyme, they will degrade this hydrogen peroxide into two portion. One is oxygen and second is water. And this oxygen will be seen in form of bubbles immediately. So if bubbles are seen within 10 seconds, that is catalase taste positive. And if bubbles are not seen even after adding the growth, that means it is a catalase negative taste. And this is a very important taste, especially in case of gram positive cocci. If uh, it is the first taste to be done, if you see gram positive cocci under microscope, and if it is catalase positive, it establishes that it is staphylococci. And if it is negative, you can say that it is a streptococci. This is also very useful if you have gram negative bacilli under gram staining then you have to do two taste uh, catalase and oxidase if catalase positive and oxidase negative that belongs to the anthrobacteraceae group that is e coli clapsilla and uh, if it is catalase positive and oxidase positive that means it doesn't it is a non anthrobacteraceae group and that will narrow down the diagnosis a lot so that's all for catalyst taste.